Greetings fellow Dragon Ball fans and collectors, I'm the DBZ Collector and I'm here to help you start a build your Dragon Ball collection. So be sure to hit the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Today we're looking at... Kuruzo. In fact, we'll be looking at all three versions today. The overseas version, the Japanese version, and the all black special color version. And they were released on July 18th, 2018. I meant to upload this review yesterday, but I was having some problems. Plus, I didn't get the Japanese version until after I had done the video. So, in a way, I'm glad it kind of messed up. So I could have all three of them together. And they stand at 12 inches foot tall. Very nice size figure. Each one comes in three pieces. The legs, the upper body, and the head. Now we're going to look at each individual one up close. Get up close and personal. First up is the overseas version. And my favorite version, and by the way, the Grandista Ultra Instinct Goku is my new favorite Grandista figure. Before that was a toss-up between the Manga Dimensions Super Saiyan Goku, the Super Saiyan Vegeta with interchangeable Majin Head, and the Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. I do not know who sculpted this figure, but they did a fantastic job. The sculpt is done very well. As well as the paint application. There was no mispainted areas. Of course, I looking at today, there's some black on his hands, which I have no freaking clue how they got there. See right there. Wasn't there yesterday. I got most of it off on his right hand left hand doesn't come off at all it's kind of kind of got me annoyed because I have no clue how it got there I could have sworn as I was holding the figure and looking at it more and more black areas were coming up on it so I don't know what was up with that the sculptor captured Goku's likeness very well looks just like his anime counterpart speaking of the sculpt let's talk about it first we'll go down toward the feet very nice looking boots. Got some little nicks and scratches on his boots. Right there. Uh, I noticed that they did that, that, they've done that with different figures in the last couple years. Before that, I had never really seen that done, even on battle damage figures. And now the pants. Got some rips. And this fierce battle with throughout the tournament with Jiren. He got some little nicks and scratches on his pants as well. And on his skin. I like how on the, um, the pants, how like none of it's touching his leg. Kind of like how the, like, kind of like the wind's blowing inside of it, keeping it, you know, off of his leg. And if you stuck something in there, it can go all the way around, which I like that as well. And of course, his shirt is ripped, as it always is when he's about to kick some ass, get serious. The muscle um, definition sculpt is done very well. Look at his back, it's freaking jacked up. And whoever sculpted this did a fantastic job on his face. Captured his likeness very well. Looks just like his anime counterpart. And of course you've got the silver hair with little lines in it. Give it some detail. Got kind of a gloss, kind of a metallic, glossy look which I really like.
Next up is the Japanese version. As I mentioned earlier, all three versions are the exact same figure, sculpt-wise. The Japanese and the overseas version are different as far as the paint goes. So right now we're going to do a comparison. And the difference between the two is the overseas version has shading on it, whereas the Japanese version does not which is why I like the overseas version more. But there are some things I actually like about the Japanese version that I prefer would be done on the overseas version. One is the shading of the hair. I like how this has a glossy look to it. I like how this is more of a silver, more silver looking, and this looks more uh, like a glossy gray. I actually don't mind the uh, lighter skin, which is due to not having shading. So, like I said, they're the same sculpt. So, you actually mix and match. And what I would do is have the torso and the head and put it on here, which I think would make the perfect looking figure. Okay, here's the switch. I actually do not like the way it looks. I should have looked at it beforehand, but I do not like the way it looks. Um, it just looks off with the shading and the no shading. So let's try going back but switching the heads and see how that looks. And here is the switch. Switch the heads, switch the bodies back and then switch the heads around. Last but not least, the special color version. The whole figure, aside from the eyes, is all black. The eyes have some light gray and some silver. Shit, evil clones of Goku are invading our universe. Not even the combined powers of Sinnoh, the Grand Priest, and his kids can stop this sick, disgusting duo. Our world is fucked. Alright, Yamcha saved us. He saved the day. He defeated that sick, disgusting duo. Oh, Yamcha, thank you for saving us. <laughs> Yamcha's getting lucky tonight. If you enjoyed this video, and the little skit I put at the end, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. But I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any of these figures, then let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on them. Which one is your favorite? Which one's your least favorite? And if you would like these figures, then check the description box below where I will provide links to places that sell these figures. I bought the black version and the Japanese version on eBay from KTETSU71, KTETSU71, but he does not have any more. And I got the overseas version from Saiyan Z, which is a Dragon Ball, One Piece, and Naruto figure cell group on Facebook. If interested, all you have to do is join the group, then contact the creator, 
I let me know that you're interested. And Saiyan Z offers worldwide shipping. And I would recommend getting from Saiyan Z. They're very trustworthy. But if you're not comfortable buying from a Facebook group, and I'll provide links to other places that sell the Overseas version. And again, you'll find those links in the description box below. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.